Shift by Summer, a series of mini videos designed to help you gain control of your thoughts and experience true change in some aspect of your life. It's based upon science, the Bible, and research, and all of that comes from God himself, who is also the reason I persist at these videos. <sighs> some of you have messaged me, and a few of you have spoken to me in public, but it has been awesome to hear you say that you're engaged with this, taking copious notes and replaying episodes because the information is new to you. Honestly, there's nothing more encouraging than watching someone contend for freeing truth in his or her heart and mind. So it's a wonderful surprise in the middle of this, a friend and I were discussing his work, and it's so great I asked if I could share it with you. While he hasn't been following the shift videos per se, some of his journaling reflects the very work we're talking about. Because of poor messaging in his early years of life, he has to fight the sense of never being good enough, that everything falls on him to make go well, and that his value is in how he helps and takes care of other people. Well, the truth of God about each and every one of us is that we are loved and valued for who we are, not what we do. That in Christ we are created and complete, and that outcomes rest on the Lord alone. So the new resting narrative that my friend wants and needs to work on is the idea of simply being valuable for who he is. And as we sat and objectively described him as a person in third-person fashion, I said, wouldn't you think about that guy that he's such a blessing? And he couldn't deny it. So we decided to work in that space that God made us each to bless this earth, and the way we are crafted uniquely is a blessing as we walk fully in God's intended creation of us. Read Ephesians 2.10 today. <laughs> so my friend's work is, I am a blessing, and as such, I am enough. So here's some of his journal. You can see the new neural pathway and surrounding supportive thoughts. I'm a blessing. Act like it even when I don't feel like it. I am a blessing. What would I be doing right now if I truly believed it? I am enough. What I do is enough even when I feel like a failure. I have natural instincts. How would I be responding if I believed this was true? And then he engages the Lord with his mind and spirit. Lord, I acknowledge that when I am believing lies and feeling uncertain and like a failure, that it is usually because I am not showering myself with your truth in your mind, excuse me, and your word. Remind me now of the power and confidence that you have filled me with. And just like kneading dough, we keep doing it. Remember, working this pathway is how it will come to be strong and pronounced in your mind. And we see that here with, with my friend. He says, even in my faithlessness, I am a blessing. Even in my faithlessness, I am enough. The truth is, regardless of my present emotions or how I feel, I am a blessing and I am enough. I'm just so grateful for this one example of work, especially inking it. Friends, these are the ways we change slowly from the inside out. Proverbs 17, 27 says, he who restrains his words has knowledge. Again, I see neural pathway truth in here. Do you? Restrains conveys the idea of control or corralling our words and that doing so is a way toward knowledge and wisdom. Let's keep going in this working of our words, whether through journaling like our friend or doodling or rote repetition, knowing that the work works. Keep going, awesome ones. You are a blessing for real.